posture. Everybody, that, that comes across. We want you erect today. Now some of these exercises are maybe some leaning, but if we say posture, reestablish posture. All right. Dorsiflexion. So everybody, pick up one foot, cock your toe up, cock your ankle. You should be able to bring your toe better than 45 degrees with your heel on the ground. If you're pretty tight on the back side, that's going to be tough. But whenever your foot's off the ground, I want it dorsiflexed. So do a rotation, keeping the toes pulled up in the top of your shoe and the ankle cocked like a gun. Because the foot ankles is like a gun. If you keep it cocked and on pretension, when it hits the ground, you get more return. Anybody have shin splints, stress reactions, foot stress fractures, uh, patella tendonitis? The first driver for that is bad mechanics. So if I plantar flex early and land in front of myself, there's shearing forces and somewhere in the food chain, you're gonna get dinged. So I want everybody to put their foot out front, point their toe like you're a ballerina. If that's how you're hitting the ground, you're an idiot, and that's why you're getting injured. How many people have had a little bit of science? Everybody's had a science class here? Even you guys? Well, there's a law in science, a guy named Newton who got hit in the head with an apple. And one of his laws for every action, there's the opposite equal reaction. So if I want to go up and forward, how should my foot go? down and back. So if I push down and back, I go up and forward. And the foot's a spring. So it has to be active. We have to keep dorsiflexion. And where it lands is very important. So I want everybody to stand at attention. Now feel where the ball of your foot is. Now if you tried to land there, sprinting, you would over rotate the ball on your face. So where we land is slightly in front of that point. But if we get too far in front of that, then we have shearing forces. And for every action, there's an opposite equal reaction. And if we fight with posture and shear, then joints are going to get injured. Bones are going to get injured. So why all this talk? Because we're going to do these drills different than most of you have ever done. I'm going to ask you to land on your heel. When you contact the ground, you're not going to be on your toes or the ball of your foot. You're going to put your foot at best flat, preferably on the heel and roll. So I want everybody to lift your foot, put your heel on the ground, and roll through the foot. That's going to be the action. Well, some of you are motor morons, so let's use the other foot. Put your heel on the ground and roll through it. Everybody's got the idea. I watch some of you walk and jog. You're already in trouble. If you're walking around like this and you're jogging like this, you're putting thousands of reps through a joint system not designed to tolerate. 